Hello and welcome to part 2 of my tips for new players. If you haven't already got Sandstorm I would highly recommend you do this is a quality FPS and a whole lot of fun. It's currently on offer in the Steam Winter Sale so there's never been a better time to get into the game. So here are more insurgency tips in no particular order. Shotguns are deadly and a top choice if defending at close range. You can take out a lot of enemy players if you move quickly and go aggressive. This is available to the Breacher class which specialises in close quarter fights. And yes I didn't clock the dude in the middle. My favourite modifications of the shotgun are the foregrip, compensator and flechette rounds. This creates a deadly close quarters weapon which causes carnage and leaves a huge grin on my face. If you decide to carry a sidearm you might want to consider a quick draw holster to speed up the transition from your primary weapon to your pistol. This can be very useful if you like to play close quarters and rely on the pistol to get you out of tricky situations. It's often more effective to use personal explosives on the weapon cache objectives. Incendiaries are particularly useful for this if you need to keep an eye on nearby enemies whilst finishing off the objective. Though it's tempting and a lot of fun, playing as a sniper can often leave you playing on your own unless you are pushing the objective or coordinating with the team. In the clips here I clearly messed up and had no chance of recovering the inevitable loss. Going solo just causes friendly players to quit and even though it might be fun for you it's not really playing the game like it's meant to be played. Like the shotguns, sniper rifles are deadly and my favourite loadouts are the SVD with long range scope, extended mag and compensator for the insurgents. For the security team I favour the M24 with long range scope, the grease bolt and compensator. These combinations haven't let me down to date, however I would recommend playing with all the rifles to find one that suits your playing style. I need to stress that if you're on the attacking team you need to be using smoke grenades. I recommend you carry at least one smoke grenade regardless of what class you are playing. If the objective you're attacking doesn't look like this, you won't stand a chance against an experienced opposition. Smoke cover is super effective when insulting a position or when moving between buildings. Don't forget to equip your gas mask when using smoke to prevent the inevitable coughing fit as this can give away your position. It will also prevent you dying in an insurgent gas attack. It's free to equip on the insurgent side but one equipment point for the security team. IEDs are so much fun and perfect for clearing out a contested room. If you're lucky to find one that's been dropped by a player, make sure you pick it up and use it. It will turn anyone close to the detonation into a pink mist. If you think you can hear or see an enemy nearby you're probably right, be brave and go for it. Make sure you also cover all angles and check flanking positions, especially if you see something unusual such as a smoke grenade that's been let off behind you. As commander I've found that calling in helicopter support is way more effective if and when the map opens out. One, it provides you cover whilst you cap the objective. Two, enemies have limited places to hide so are more likely to get mowed down. And three, it gets you more kills for the commander and the observer supporting you. And everyone likes points. Hopefully your observer will keep hidden while you call in fire support but if they do decide to get themselves killed all is not lost. Keep fighting and hold your ground. Regroup with the observer when you can. If you have sensible people playing observer they will normally come to you. You can probably tell from the footage that I really like the VHS-2 assault rifle as commander. Now you might argue with me but I think this is one of the best assault rifles in the game. With the right mods it's good for short to long range combat and it's also got a rapid rate of fire which is lethal and sounds amazing. 
I've attached a red dot, foregrip and extended magazine which has not let me down yet. Always remain on the point if it says blocking as it probably means you're the last person left holding that point. Stay hidden and pick your fights carefully as the rewards can be great. Yep. Most importantly, be nice to other players and always play the objective, even if it's only you doing so. Well that concludes part 2 of my bite sized tips. If you want to see more please send me some likes and I'll keep going. Thanks for your support guys, see you later. Nice one, we got Alpha! It's clear, I'm up!